Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, where last time we did races 2 and 3, we won them both. It was super awesome. I see what's going on back here. This is this is not what I really wanted to do tonight because special stage route 11 is uh, not cool at all. Or wait a minute. No, this might be 5. Yeah, this is, oh, this is totally five. That makes me feel way better about this situation. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's jump into that. I was, I was thinking, dude, if we gotta do special stage 11 backwards right now, that's literally the, the last thing I wanna do tonight. But, I, we get a reprieve. We get to do one that is far easier, and I'm totally cool with that. So, let's, let's get down to business. And I can tell you, as soon as I get done filming this bad boy, I've got to get something to eat because my stomach is making inhuman, like, exorcism quality growling sounds. It's just like, I will eat your soul. My name is Lucifer. Of which, uh, uh, promptly after I eat, I should probably contact, uh, maybe like a man, like a wise man of the cloth to, uh, maybe help me deal with that. Because I don't think that my stomach should really be engaging in, uh, you know, otherworldly sounds uh, all based off of the fact that I have not eaten and now it is craving human souls. So, I don't know, that's usually uh, kind of a frowned upon thing in the general society that we live in. So I think uh, I'm gonna give them a call and be like, hey, you guys do, uh, you guys do like uh, late night exorcisms? You got like a 24 hour hotline that I can call to help, uh, you know, bust out the demon from inside my stomach? Because, uh, Pretty sure he's not quite satisfied until, you know, I do some kind of human sacrifice, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to Full Metal Alchemist a situation where I, you know, sacrifice somebody to bring back my dead mother who is in fact not dead at all. So, <laughs> you know, I think uh, we'll take the take the high ground there and and not participate. So, but I do have, I do have something that I want to I want to give a try. I came up. On, on a very interesting piece of, of foodstuffs that I did not know existed uh, up until last night, and uh, the, in, the the massive amount of intrigue that follows it is is staggering to me because I have I have such a horrible feeling going into it that I I really don't know how to feel about it to be 100% honest. What it is it is it is Pepperidge Farm brand Goldfish Mac and Cheese. Totally had no idea that that even existed, and it scares the living hell out of me. Not because of the fact that I think that there's a slight potential that it could be live goldfish that I will be boiling in hot water and destroying them, and then pairing them up with very, very shoddily made, uh, you know, noodles, and then covering in some sort of amalgam of dehydrated cheese, uh, you know, things. Most of which may not even be real cheese, let's be honest with ourselves, but it still tastes delicious. So, I mean, could I be committing mass goldfish suicide? I don't know. But uh, that sounds really terrifying, personally. <laughs> I think the last thing I want to have happen is opening up a box of mac and cheese to find a whole bunch of live goldfish in there. <laughs> Thus making all of, the, uh, all of the extremely hard noodles very weird and soggy and fishy. But they're just, you know, it's just regular um, noodles in the shape of goldfish. I don't know, it sounds interesting, but I'm so afraid of it because, it, realistically, I think just about all but maybe a couple of times that I have ventured outside of the craft, you know, powerhouse name for boxed mac and cheese, uh, I have come up so short on that, of which the one that's bearing the, the giant fucking flag for that parade absolutely has to be High Top brand. It's either High Top, or it's Great Value, or even Safeway brand. I don't know. I don't know if everybody in the U.S. has Safeways or not, but Safeway Select brand mac and cheese, along with High Top and Great Value. Oh, those guys can go to hell, and they can go there on a on a fucking one-legged horse-bearing sleigh that's covered in spikes and disease. <laughs> because because. Uh, I don't know how the hell you could possibly mess up mac and cheese, man. It's not that hard. It's just pasta and, and cheese. <laughs> but, 
but they found a way. And they found a way to do it by giving you just the biggest middle finger in the world, because, I mean, everybody loves mac and cheese, man. I, I'm not going to, there's just no way that people don't. And to, to bring that thing home and be like, all right, I'm going to make some mac and cheese, and I'm going to enjoy it, and you make that, and you, you sit down with your bowl or your plate or just eat it straight out of the pan like I do, and you take a bite out of that, and just the disappointment that just showers over you, just, oh, God. It's just, oh. It, it really it really hurts your soul. It really it really hurts me soul uh, by by Lupe Fiasco. And it hurts me so. It's a really good song actually. Um, anywho, so I'm I, I I have my own reservations on it. I'm definitely going to I'm gonna eat it at base value. But uh, if I if I am not fully satisfied, I will I will definitely take some shredded cheese. I will put it in there with it. And I'll maybe put some jalapenos in there. Maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll cover the base just in case it's awful. Who knows? Maybe it's a hidden gem and it's completely delicious. You know, that's always a thing that's worth uh, that's worth throwing into the fray there. So I will I will keep you guys informed because I feel like that is a hot take that people must know. And so we will we will definitely we will definitely uh, put that in in the list of Adam's hot takes on certain shit. More specifically, mac and cheese. Oh yeah. But that's besides the point. I have something important that must be that must be spoken upon because I talked about this. It was a while ago. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was back when I it was back when I did uh, my my Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past uh, playthrough a number of months ago. I think it was probably close to a year ago by now. And it was not too long after the NES Mini came out. And uh, and. It was just such a huge, widespread success, and I remember saying in whatever episode it was that I did of that, that, that fateful day or evening or whatever, I was like, you know what, I don't know if they're ever going to do it, but they, they really need to consider making a Super Nintendo classic, and by God, if, you know, by the, by the, the final hair on Odin's beard, if, uh, if, if there wasn't an employee from, from Nintendo that was listening at that very moment to me, <laughs> because he totally was, let's be honest. I was the authority on this. Not like, not like they wouldn't have listened to somebody with way more pull and clout than me. They were listening to me. They totally did it, man, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they made an SNES classic. Or a Super Famicom classic, whatever region you're from. So happy they did that. However, I'm a little bit bummed out on, on, on a couple of grounds here. A, they made it more expensive, things, uh, things $79.99, and there's only 21 games on it. That is, that is a little bit perplexing to me, realistically, because the NES, the NES Classic Mini, if I remember correctly, had 30 games on it, and it was what? It was, what, $59.99? I think it was 60 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I can't remember the exact price, but I know it wasn't 80 bucks. And it had 30 games on it. You would think that... You know, for the Super Nintendo Classic, I mean, it's still it's still just a shell with like an SD card that's got a bunch of games in it. I mean, that's basically what's going on, more or less. How would you not put 30 games on that, or at least 25? Like, why why such a weird ass number? <laughs> that's that's very strange to me. Um, so there's that. I, I think that they I think that they should have put more games on it. I think they should have put 30, you know, or even 25, whatever. But I think as far as the game selection that they have for this, it is overall pretty solid. I will, I have the entire list written down right here on my notepad because I can't really, you know, I can't use my phone screen to do it because I'm talking from here directly into it with uh, the front of my face. So, you know, that's, uh, that's why. But I want to go over these a little bit and I want to give you some of my hot takes on how I feel about it. I feel like that's... That's a thing that maybe some people are wondering. I don't know. If not, then hey, I will have effectively wasted your time. Ooh, Laguna Seca, huh? Hmm. Do I do it or do I not? You know what? I'm going to do a qualifying lap for this. Just because I want to do everything that I can to go and get a perfect, a perfect sweep on this. And if I have to do one extra thing here for it, I will do it. Um, I, I just... Something tells me that this seems like a, a smart move here. Because... Hey man, it's Laguna Seca. You never know what's gonna happen here. I I won I won one of my previous races here by the sheer grace of God alone, by having just the most miraculous sequence to have happen, <laughs> going through that damn S turn of doom. So anything that I can do to you know improve my standing, if I can just finish 
you know, get that my starting position in third or better, I'll totally take that. So, anywho, uh, let's let's get started here. I've got the whole list here, and we're gonna we're just gonna run through it, and then I'll I'll give some you know some opinions on things as we go along. So, number one, we've got Super Mario World. Totally understand it. One of the flagship games of the system, and I I, I don't dispute them choosing that at all. However, what I think that they could have done to make it to have made it a better thing is I wish that they would have packaged it with Super Mario All Stars, the the uh, like the deluxe edition that had Super Mario World in it. I think that would have been an absolute home run. And I know that some people are gonna be like, well, but all those games are NES games, blah blah. blah. And it's like I know that, <laughs> but that's okay because it also had they were all it was it was great. Why not have the ability of having, you know, like, one compilation thing alongside everything? Because you get, you know, Super Mario 1, 2, Lost Levels, and 3, and Super Mario World. Why would you not, you know, reward everybody by having that sort of thing? I think it's a great idea. But, hey, you know, it's neither here nor there. I'm not going to say that they that they made a big mistake I, I, in, in not doing that. I think you still made the right choice by putting that game in there anyways. So, then you got Super Mario Kart absolutely agree with that 100%. I mean, for a lot of people, for a number of people, that's their favorite game on the system, and I don't blame them for it. It was certainly one of my favorites, so I have no problem with any of that. Then, you got Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Totally understandable. I mean, by by many opinion, it is considered to be one of the greatest games of all time, and I'm certainly not going to tell you that it's not. <laughs> I think it really is one of the greatest games of all time, with one of the best soundtracks of all time. So I think that they did an absolute service to everybody by putting that there. Okay, we got to get through this turn real quick here. Okie dokie. We're going, and we're going, and we're going. Cool. If I can do that turn like that every single time, I think we've got a pretty good chance of, of being able to win this thing. However, we are definitely not going to get pole position out of this unless something crazy happens right in the waning moments of this, of this qualifying lap. Namely right here. I'm not foreseeing it coming, but we'll see. We will see. Just give me something, man. Just give me something, even if it's second. We may even be able to edge him out right here. Nope. <laughs> Did worse, actually. It's still fine. Where are we going to be? Where are we going to be? Second place. Let's do it. Totally down with that. So, outside of that, so we move on, and then we get into the racing section, which uh, they put F-Zero in there. I totally understand it. Would I have loved to have seen Top Gear in there? Uh, yes, absolutely. But I totally understand why they would put F-Zero in there instead, because there are way more people that are going to have remembered F-Zero than, uh, than Top Gear. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Top Gear as much as the next guy. If for nothing else, that soundtrack is just fucking gold. It's so, so good. Um, so I would have loved to have seen that, but I absolutely... I am so happy they put F Zero on there. If you're if you're gonna have a racing game carry the torch for this for this little little classic system alongside Super Mario Kart, I am so happy that it ended up being that. So super cool with that. It's got such a great soundtrack, man. It's one of the greatest soundtracks of all time in any game. And that's 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 my hot opinion right there. So after that, then we move on to Super Metroid. Again, one of the best games of all time, and I don't think there's really gonna be anybody that's gonna ever dispute that opinion. So, super down with that selection being in there. We need to take this turn real quick, so let me let me slow down and get through it. And we're good. All right. It wasn't the prettiest thing, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to say that was a success. <laughs> as long as we can go through there without potentially spinning out, I'm I'm all right. Okay, here we go. Let me get around this this big corner here and then we'll get back into into the into the thing back into the meat and potatoes of the uh, of the of the discussion then let's see oh and then we're going into fighting games we got super uh, we have super street fighter 2 totally agree with it absolutely fantastic would i have loved to have seen uh like killer instinct in there 100 percent yes I, I actually me personally i liked killer instinct better than than street fighter 2 not to say that i didn't like street fighter 2 because i played the absolute shit out of that uh, that game is, is, is incredible. But I wish they would have put Killer Instinct on, man. Like, I get that they're probably trying to do that as a means to, you know, maybe take a take a break on, on the violence. Which, again, now this is one of my hot takes. I am really, really bummed out that they did not include uh, Mortal Kombat 3 
or any Mortal Kombat game in this in this collection. I am so bummed out by that because, in my opinion personally, I think Mortal Kombat 3 was the best fighting game on the console. And uh, you know there there might be people that'll disagree with me, but it's just oh, Mortal Kombat games were just so much fun, man. Especially with the with the ability to to do like the little cheat menu screen, you get to do cool stuff with a K and and cooler stuff and then Scott stuff. <laughs> Where you get to do that cool ass little uh, Space Invaders mini game, where Shao Kahn tells you that you suck unless you get a certain score. I loved it, but you know I I I, I do understand it though. You know it, I mean the, they're going to be marketing this thing to young kids and having people you know pulling each other's heads and their spines clear off of their bodies and you know morphing into dragons and eating people and you know. In terms of Killer Instinct, having Orchid, you know, flashing her tits and causing people to have heart attacks and die. <laughs> I can see where, you know, maybe avoiding that is a, is a smart idea. But, as a, you know, just for me, going back to my childhood, still bummed out by it. So, then we move on to uh, Super Punch-Out. I'm okay with it. I'm a little lukewarm on that one. Like, I love the Punch-Out series. I just, it was never, uh, I, I love the one for NES way more than the Super NES one. So... Uh, I'm 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 okay with it, you know. I'm I'm cool with it. Not one of my favorite choices though. So and I'm just uh, I'm I'm neither here nor there on that one. Uh, let's see. Then we got Super Castlevania 4. Totally awesome. Which you know, if we're gonna be going into violent games, I mean that game's fairly violent. You got some some you know, kind of potentially uh, questionable imagery in there with you know demons and, and and what have you. But again. One of the one of the best games for the console, Super Castlevania 4, is absolutely amazing. So, 100% down with it all the way. Then we got, and th this is this is going to be another another hot take of mine here. They've got Donkey Kong Country, the original, which I understand it. I I'm I'm super happy they put it on on the console. However, I really think that they should have put Donkey Kong Country 2 in there instead. I, I really do. I think in every single phase of of, of the game. It is a better game. I think they have. It's. I think it has a, a, a far superior soundtrack. I think it has better controls overall. I think they kind of polished them up a little bit between one and two. I think. I think that uh, that it has better level design. I think it's just in every way, shape, and form better. And I'm pretty sure they know that. I feel like they know that, but they're just like, eh, well, you know what? We'll put the original on just because. Because. <laughs> But I, I think they missed out on an opportunity there. I think that I think that having Donkey Kong Country 2 would have been a much better choice. But hey, I'm a little biased, so what are you going to do there? Then we got uh, Mega Man X. Totally awesome. I'm not going to dispute that at all. Definitely one of one of the best out of the whole thing. I mean, I think all we have to do is just watch Sequelitis for that once to to get a uh, you know people that are really passionate about about Mega Man games' opinion on that sort of thing. So you know, okay, here we go. We got a Things are getting a little iffy here. Yeah, down to one second now. I gotta, I gotta clean this up a little bit. We've been, we've been losing some time here, but coming into these waning areas, so I gotta really make a big push here to make sure that we don't blow it. There we go. Actually worked out okay. Still not a great turn. We're losing steam. We are losing steam. Our tires are still in great shape, but we're just, we're not really holding them off very well. Go figure. We're going into the last lap, by the way. We're or of course this would happen. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. That was a good turn. Let's see. We got Mega Man X. That's fine. Uh, Kirby Superstar. Uh, for me, personally, I never really played that game much growing up, so I'm pretty lukewarm on that one. But hey, it's Kirby, you know? And Kirby's awesome. A lot of people love Kirby, so I totally get that one. Um, let's see. Then we've got a Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6, depending on, on region. Absolutely understand that one. Uh, I, I've been playing that myself, and I'm really enjoying that thoroughly. Um, so, super down with every bit of that. Um, let's see. Then we've got um, then we've got uh, Kirby's Dream Course, which you know I never played that growing up. But just from watching uh, just from watching Game Grumps and and watching their series of that, that game just looks like it's so much fun. It really does. And so I'm you know I'm I'm cool with that being there. I I, that, I think that would be I think that's kind of a that game. If anything else, now has has become kind of a cult classic, uh, in in large thanks to those two. <laughs> or who knows? Maybe I'm just way off here, and that game was massively popular, and I just didn't even know it. Oh God! Oh no! Please don't blow it! Please don't blow it! Please don't blow it! Oh my God! Okay, we're good. We're good. Get the fuck out of here! 
yeah. <sighs> okay, then we got Star Fox. Yes. Fucking yes. All the way yes. Put the horns up when you mean it in your heart, because I do. And then, probably the biggest thing. This has been the, like, the big talking point for this, for basically since it was announced. They're doing Star Fox 2. The unreleased son of a bitch that they just decided to cancel right in the end stage because the fucking, um... The, uh... The, uh, the Nintendo 64 was coming out, so they're just like, ah, we're gonna scrap it. Luckily, somebody got their hands on it, and they're gonna, they did, they, they did the thing. So they're putting it in there. I think that is one of the smartest damn things they could have possibly done. A game that, realistically, unless you've been, you know, unless you had an emulator nearby, nobody's played it. So, you know, that's fucking great. <laughs> it's super fucking great. I'm almost debating doing another race. Um... Depending on what race it is. Mm. No, we won't. We're gonna stop here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep talking about this, but we're gonna. We're, we're not gonna do any more races for now. So, let's see. Then uh, we got Yoshi's Island. Yes, love that game. Super, super great. Uh, a great addition to this. Super Mario RPG. Super great. Really glad they put that on there. It's nice that they that they have a couple of RPGs in this list uh, for people that were really down with that. Contra Three. Yes, so happy with that. I. I, you know, the funny thing though is that I didn't play the Super Nintendo one as much. My favorite version is the Game Boy version, even though it's far inferior, really, in every way. I still love that version more, but the Super NES one is great, and I'm so happy that they had a run and gun shooter like that, because I was really afraid they weren't going to do it. So that's great. Secret of Mana, Secret of Mana, however you decide to pronounce it. Super down with that. I've only played it just a few times. Like, I'm not. It's a. I don't know. It's just a game that I haven't played a lot, but I know that's. You know, a lot of people, it's a, it's a cult classic, most certainly. It's a great, great game. And then Super Ghouls and Ghosts, really down with that. Gotta have a game that's absolutely cripplingly difficult. And then uh, and then to round it out, they put in Earthbound, which again, again, I think that is a fantastic choice. They, they listened to their fans, they knew that that was a smart one to put in there because... It's fucking great. <laughs> I actually, me personally, I've never played the game before. I really want to. It's something that I've that I've really been wanting to do over the last like five years or so. And one of these days, I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'll do it on the channel or not. We'll see. Just because uh, RPG games, I, I've never been great at them. I know I've played a few of them over you know over the last year or so on the channel, and I'm kind of warming up to them a little more. So who knows? But that's the whole collection. It's the whole collection. And I'm actually really surprised that there are a few games I didn't put in. I'm very surprised they didn't put Pilot Wings in. I, I was almost certain that they would have put Pilot Wings in. I mean, that's a classic, classic SNES game. And so for them to have not put that in kind of surprised me a little bit. I'm also surprised they didn't put Turtles in Time in. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> How do you not put Turtles in Time in? That is, that is, that is just, oh my god, what were they thinking? I think that was a big mistake on their part. And then... This is just my opinion. They didn't put any sports games in. And I'm not asking for them to put, like, you know, John Madden football in there or, or something like that. If, if they would have put any sports game in here, I really wish they would have put NBA Jam. Because that's a game that even if you're not super big on basketball, that game was fun as fuck. Why didn't they do that? <laughs> so I think that that also, big mistake. Um... But other than that, I think that they, I think that they really nailed that down pretty well. I really do. I think that they did a pretty solid job with it. Even if the price point, I think, is a smidgen high, considering that there's less games than the, uh, than the NES Mini. But hey, you know, we all know that you can definitely just pop the thing open and pretty much, you know, do whatever you want with it. There's all sorts of people that are modding those to, to get all the games that they want in there. So I get it. But guys, we're gonna stop right here. Uh, this ended up being a little bit longer than I had, than I, than I had thought. But all in all, ended up being pretty awesome, so if you guys are super pumped about that SNES Classic and you're going to buy one, do let me know. I, I, I've got to know, you know, who's uh, who's getting them. I'm probably not going to get one myself because, hey, I don't want to spend, you know, $5 billion on the internet for one because people are buying them <laughs> for regular price and selling them for like 500% like more, even though that's like the smartest damn thing you can do. Um... It is what it is. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, the Ultimate Driving Simulator, we're going to uh, move into races 6 and 7, and hopefully we can keep the undefeated streak alive in this thing, because we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, so until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll let you know how that mac and cheese is. You guys take care. Bye.